just like us humans. Our canine companions can also develop problems with their knees. One example of this is damaging their cranial cruciate ligament. The cranial cruciate ligament is a band of tough fibrous tissue which attaches the femur, that's the thigh bone, to the tibia, the shin bone. This ligament is essential to the stability of the knee joint and therefore your dog's ability to move. When the cranial cruciate ligament ruptures, the knee joint becomes loose and the tibia and femur are no longer kept in place. This means that when your dog stands up, their femur slides down the slope at the top of the tibia, causing inflammation, discomfort and pain. The cranial cruciate ligament can rupture as a result of an injury, but it's most commonly caused by long-term degeneration, whereby the fibres within the ligament weaken over time. When this ligament ruptures, the knee joint becomes very unstable. Your dog will be reluctant to put weight on their leg and they may limp when they walk or play. Your vet will examine your dog's knee for any abnormal movement and take x-rays to assess swelling within the joint. Your dog may be referred to a specialist referral centre for further investigations and treatment by an orthopaedic surgeon. For most dogs with a cranial cruciate ligament rupture, the recommended treatment is a surgical procedure called tibial plateau levelling osteotomy often referred to as a TPLO. This procedure changes the dynamics of the knee joint, meaning that the cranial cruciate ligament is no longer needed to keep the knee stable. During TPLO surgery, the surgeon inspects the joint and cuts the tibia using a surgical saw. The surgeon then rotates this piece of bone to turn the tibial plateau, that's the top of the tibia, from a slope into a flat level. A plate and screws are used to hold the tibial plateau in its new position. These alterations prevent the femur from sliding down the slope when your dog puts weight on their leg. Following surgery, your vet will provide you with guidance on how to support your dog's recovery. This will include giving them pain relief medication, keeping the surgical wounds clean, and limiting their activity. Your dog will need to rest in a crate for six weeks, followed by a further six weeks of staying in one room. Running, jumping and rough play must be avoided to give your dog the best chance of a smooth recovery. Initially, they'll be restricted to short lead walks, with the length of these walks increasing slowly as the weeks of recovery pass by. Your local vet will re-examine your dog two weeks after surgery to check the wound and remove the stitches if needed. At six weeks post-surgery, they will take x-rays to ensure the bone is healing and that the plate and screws are intact. As part of your dog's rehabilitation, physiotherapy and hydrotherapy can speed up the recovery of their leg and improve their mobility in the long term. Your vet will let you know when it's a good time to start physical therapy. Most dogs who have a TPLO will regain full movement in their affected leg, so you'll be able to enjoy walking and playing together again. If you have any questions about your dog's condition, please talk to your vet.